G'day friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and uh, as usual, please leave your comments. If you do like this video, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. Okay, so um, in today's topic, it's going to be a very short one. We are trying to dive in to understand how to copy Azure Data Explorer data into storage account for long-term retention. This is mainly used for things like Sentinel where you have 90 days free Sentinel data that you can have in a log analytics workspace. You might want to then move that into Azure Data Explorer for a certain period of time and then you want to copy it from Azure Data Explorer into storage account for long-term retention based on how company policies are. Um, the initial step here is to actually create an Azure Data Explorer. I already have done a video wherein I have created Azure D uh, Data Explorer, created connections, um, created connections within Data Explorer to ingest data from Log Analytics Workspace. I, I will post that link to that video below. This so this video is a follow-on from there. Um, so just to confirm, I basically have four main steps. I also have, as you can see here, I've also have pro provided a URL from Microsoft for your reference. Main things are you watch that video to export data in from Azure, uh, from Log Analytics Workspace to Azure Data Explorer. Once you're complete and understood that, you would then want to follow up with this video to then see how to export the data from Azure Data Explorer into storage account for long-term retention. Okay, so uh, following on from the previous video, we stopped here where we have the data into Azure Data Explorer. This video is going to show you how to move it to a storage account. As I mentioned, this is done in four easy steps. I will post all these steps in the link below so nothing to worry see the video utilize these steps and just replicate the scenario in your environment and it should be all good to go okay so as you can see here this is my azure data explorer uh, i ran this step here and and checked my data i can see that for my log antics or my log antics workspace has successfully imported its data into azure data explorer now i want to use copy this data into my storage account. First things first, you need a storage account. So let's do that. Um, go into your, please note the storage account, I will delete by the time you see this video. So my SAS tokens and things are safe. Okay, so if, uh, so to go here, I go into my storage account. Ideally you would want a general v2 storage account i have created one here already as you can see it's very simple you just need to click on create you choose whatever resource group you have name the resource group east us east us i'll make it a meaningful name test storage data demo demo you would want to go standard Again, depends on what you're using. I would use definitely a standard um, as I don't have so much of data coming into my storage account as it's just data ingested from ADX uh, based on Sentinel alerts. So go next advanced. Yep, I would keep this. I would also use infrastructure encryption if I want. Go into my networking. At this point of time, it is a public endpoint because my ADX is not in a private vnet it's publicly available or publicly listed hence i need this public endpoint you go into data protection yep i will enable the soft delete go into next tags review and create and create i've already done that for to save time and as you can see here that is my storage account here one good thing with general v2 is we have um criteria in our company or you might even have that you only want retention for seven years. You want all data that hasn't been modified in the last seven years to be deleted. Uh, if you have that, you with General V2, you can use something called lifecycle management. Use lifecycle management. I've got one saying delete after seven years. 
I've got, it's just a rule. You create a new rule, you append the rule, you basically goes to your base blob and it says delete after seven years and apply to all the blobs within your storage. And blaze blob, you can say here, modified seven years is what, two, five, five, five days. You delete the blob. So when it, when if it's not been modified over the last uh, seven years, delete it. And that's what, um, that's what I have set up for as part of my lifecycle management. Anyway, so you've got your storage account created, which is good. The next step for this is to have your SAS key. So before that, you go into your containers and you would create one here. I've created one here called test.js. It's just a container that you create. Um, I've got, let's say, test.json1 and just click on create. Once you do that, the first things first is go into your SAS access token. You always give it adequate permission. The to copy data into storage account from Data Explorer, it will need your add, create, write, and list permission. Once you do that, you then go give it an expiry of 2049 and just say generate SAS token URL. This is the URL that you need. Copy that URL. Okay, so copy that URL into somewhere safe. Uh, I'm just going to copy it here to my token. So I can use that URL. Okay, right. So going back to my to my Azure Data Explorer, I will, as I said, I will paste all this in the video below, so nothing to worry, um, and you can just reuse it in your environment. As you can see, the step one here is to create an external table to link the ADX environment to storage account. This is the command, and I've taken it from this um, document here. It's create external command. You give it a create a um, any na name I've just created got a name called database new and you just say description string um, status string time generated time and this is just basically the fields that you can see here that I have used for my ADX and if you, um, I'm just going to give it a name called new new two because I've already used this so I'm just going to give it new two and if I just run this command yep done it, it has created this basically it's created the table the next thing is I just want to define a continuous expert so every five minutes the moment you have got data in your ADX and if and every five minutes is going to run a job to check and see if there's any data here to pull to put it into um, your storage account so this is creating that storage this one and I will have to uh, the name of this one is external script database too so if I go here I just need to change this here um, control V yep and I'm just going to run this just to define the continuous export It's just running as you can see, it's just taking some time. It's going and capturing all the data. Just going to wait for that to finish. Step three and step four is basically for historical data. Data is only being, will be ingested. So in step one and step two, it will be only starting to ingest data from the time I created this link that is like pretty much now if I wanted any historical data I will have to use step three and step four so I'm this is going to wait I'm just going to wait for it to run okay there you go it's done it's done that it's created a table here and it's done that details which is perfect my step three is I need to do that only if I want to copy data that's already been created when I run on this, it's going to be providing me a start cursor number. I need the start cursor number. To use it here and run this command. Run. Let's 
still doing it. Cool. So if you can see here, uh, I've run that uh, as well to create that connection or basically continuous export completed that. So finally, I just want to verify and see if there is any data that is there in external script database new. Click on run. And if I see here, there you go. I've got some blank tables, but that's because I haven't created a filter to only filter for non-empty tables. That's why. But there you go. This is the sample data that has been um, ingested from log and workspace into ADX and will go into the storage um, to storage account. So now if I go back to that storage account here, go into test JSON one. There you go. Because I've not used that and I've just used this one. So there you go. You can see all my data that I have copied there is now here. I uh, hope you liked this uh, this uh, video. Please feel free to like and subscribe, uh, and and let me know your comments. I will post all these URLs in the uh, document below. Just need to follow that, um, um, and also read these documents as well to get more understanding. Thank you very much. Please follow this and also look at the previous video for Data Explorer or how to ingest data into Data Explorer for more information on that front as well. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, speak to you soon. Cheers.